This is the payout control mechanism of a vintage pool handle ballet slot machine. And before I show you how this works, I'm going to show you an operation. I'll warn you in advance that this is about to get quite noisy and poppy. I'll try and keep the volume on down, but these old machines are very, very clicky and clacky and noisy. So uh, I'll just warn you in advance. Stand by for noise. You see what I mean? Very noisy machines. That's largely because they've got motors and latching mechanisms and solenoids like this inside them that make a lot of noise. When you pull the handle and the reels spin, the mechanism that stops the reels also wipes in to different uh, length recesses in the reel disc. And when it does so, it wipes their own contacts. And if you get a complete circuit through all three reels, it pays out the appropriate money. When it does that, it starts the hopper in the machine that's paying out. And each time a coin is pushed out, this solenoid with this mass of washers on the end of it for inertia is energised and it pulls in and it uh, decisively clicks this counter disc round. And I'll show you the back of this in a moment. Once it has paid out the acquired amount, this solenoid activates. And if you watch this contact down here, can you even see that contact down there? Uh, this one is normally made so that allows that coil to energise and it stays energised until it reaches zero and uh, breaks that contact again. Or sometimes doesn't break the contact and then this car goes up in smoke. That's another peril of those machines. Let me turn this over so we can take a look at the other side. Here is the magic of how it counts the coins. When you get a prize, say for instance, well this is the highest prize in this unit, so this yellow and green wire energises this track here, which happens to be this long track here. We've also got a completely circular track which makes connection with this tab here, which is the common. And when this uh, payout mechanism goes one, two, three, four, five, it clicks them round. And once it gets to 25, you'll see it just literally just runs out of track. So I've got another 20 to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And that's the point when the last coin has gone out that it runs out of track and it resets the mechanism and the solenoid goes click and it resets to the beginning. That's how it works. It's so mechanical and interesting. That's the nice thing about these uh, machines. They're they're kind of, they're not complex, but they've had to do various trickery and things like that with uh, to get round people well, if the machine's not set up correctly, you can actually pull the handle very slowly until this mechanism resets and then release it back and it'll actually pay out again. It's uh, got lots of little quirks. But it's interesting. Um, I like the old machines. They're very interesting at, at sort of like a, a mechanical and electrical level. Very neat.